All right, hi friends. Welcome to Art Tales. Today's book is called Yellow Kayak by Nina Layden and Melissa Castrillon. And I like this one so much because the illustrations are so gorgeous. The drawings are really, really pretty. Yellow kayak, blue sky, paddle swiftly, wave goodbye. Fish jump, loons float, seals watch, little boat. So in case you don't know, kayak is the name of this little boat. That's why it's called yellow kayak. Shore recedes, waves grow, adventure begins, winds blow. Yellow kayak, gray sky, paddle carefully, Seagulls cry. Look, there's a little yellow kayak way down there. This is what's called a bird's eye view. It's like if we were the bird and we were flying over and looking down. Squall starts, rain blowing, feeling lost. Keep going. Wind howls. Ghostly sounds, paddle flies, surf pounds. Yellow kayak, lightning streaks, thunder roars, seawall leaks. Rain stops, be brave, bail boat. Good save. Isn't that pretty? Darkness covers, fall asleep, lapping water, dreaming deep. Yellow kayak, sea below, squid dance, eels glow. Octopus visits, Salmon run, otters splash, having fun. Shark wanders, fish dart, seaweed waves, clouds part. Yellow kayak, starry sky, storm passes, Fins rise. Hulking monsters. Spray blows. Circle round. Danger grows. Eyes watch, then understand. Pushing gently toward land. Someone's gonna give them a little help. Yellow kayak. Lighthouse beams. Welcomes paddler, sweet dreams. Morning dawns, rescue boat, home comforts, happy note. Orcas die, shunning glory, leaving only this sea story. Even the back of the book is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? It's very Japanese looking. All right, thanks for joining us and we will see you next time. Hello, all right, so for today's little art lesson, we are trying to use things that we have at home. So if you have markers or, I'm gonna use Sharpies, um, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have, if you don't have anything with color, you actually could just use a regular pencil because we're just practicing. We're gonna do this kind of cool wave. This is from Yellow Kayak, which was a great book with really pretty illustrations. So we never copy. We're just kind of trying to do our version of what we're looking at. And today I thought this wave is really cool. And there's a lot of repeated lines. So if you just notice, like if you take your finger and it can go and then look, it almost looks like stripes all these extra little lines. And then over here, look at all the little lines in that wave. 
and then little lines, the little waves underneath. We're just gonna do the wave. We're not gonna worry about the rest of it for right now. Um, I know people are doing this in different ways. Some people are doing it along with me because they're doing their own version. You're not trying to copy anyway. Some people are watching the demo and then doing it afterwards. So you're doing whatever is working good for you. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just playing, we're just having fun. So I'm gonna start with this basic kind of outline shape. Whoa, my Sharpie. If you're using Sharpies, guys, remember we're gonna be really careful because moms and dads do not want us to get this on the furniture or whatever you're drawing on. But I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna just make my big bottom of my wave. And then I love those little kind of scallopy waves underneath. So I'm gonna do some of those because I'll come back and add other colors later. All right, then let's see. I'm gonna take a this lighter color. And you notice these are all shades of blue. Well, you may not have a lot of different shades of blue. So you can mix blue and greens and all of these C colors are gonna look cool together. We're using markers. We pretty much just use these for outlines. We don't wanna color in with the markers. So we're gonna do kind of the outline of the drawing. And then when we come in to do the colors, the solid part, that's when I'm gonna use crayons or colored pencils. It's not good, at, for one thing, it dries your markers out and also sometimes it gets your paper too saturated, too wet. So these are just for the outline. All right, I'm gonna do this part right here now. So I'm gonna pretend I'm starting maybe from there and I'm gonna make these kind of scallop shapes with the green. All right. I'm gonna take a lighter color. That's a little bit darker than I liked. Um, and I'm gonna make like a little outline above. Remember, this is my version of a way. You're going to do your version of a wave. And maybe I don't have that. Cool. See, mine looks different than that, but that just kind of gives it the idea. That's the top of the wave. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take my green again. And let's see. I'm going to start here and do that inside line. It goes here and goes up like that. Let's see how that looks. Woo! I'm just gonna kind of keep playing with my blue and green. I like that light green too. Um, let's see. Right. This color was fun, I like that one. And you might be looking at this and saying, well their waves don't have that color green in them, but these are my waves, so they can look any way I want. Okay, so I've kind of got my basic outline of my waves, and now I'm gonna keep using markers to make these uh, kind of shapes in between. So if you look here, all of these lines curve and they kind of come to the middle, and then here they kind of have them start again, because that's how waves in the ocean are, right? They're, it's not just one big wave, it's all these like series of waves. So I'm gonna use, I don't know if I've tried this one, that's probably the same color as that. Um, but I'm gonna start here and do those lines going across going that way. I might alternate colors, that might be fun. That lid does not want to come off. Maybe let's come back on this side, and now I'm gonna do these that kind of are gonna meet over here. So if you think about it, I'm just drawing a series of curved shapes. It's almost like when you're doing zentangles. I'm just repeating that same line. I'm gonna start there and just bring it over to that. So it kind of looks like big half circles. You can make your stripes as far apart or close together as you want. Um, I like to leave some space in there because I'm gonna go back with the crayons and color in. And you know, when you're done, we're just doing the wave together, but look at all this fun stuff. You could do, there's squid, there's an octopus, there's a fish. You could go back in if you have other colors and draw those things. Or if you're just drawing with a pencil, you could draw all these little details in also. It's fun to use color, but this would look cool if it was just gray. If you were just drawing this with a pencil, you'd have still have all those neat shapes. Um, let's see, am I happy? I might do a couple other colors with these little baby waves. Uh, I 
could go crazy and start doing seaweed. That would be fun too, but I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna get our wave in. All right, so I've got the basic shape of my wave. I'm pretty happy with how my wave looks. And now I just have, for the coloring in part, because remember markers we just wanna use for the outline, but for the coloring in part, I'm gonna use things that are not gonna be so dark and so wet. So I'm gonna start with my crayons. And the way I wanna do it with mine is I'm just gonna pick a little section and I'm just gonna color that section in with that color. So here's my blue, and I'm just gonna color. And this is kind of fun because this table that I'm using is kind of rough. So if, as I'm coloring, it's kind of making a texture. And I like that because that looks like water. Isn't that fun? Another thing that would be really cool, if you are at home and you have sidewalk chalk, this would look really fun on a driveway or on a sidewalk. Okay, so see how that's kind of rough? I'm gonna leave it like that. I think that looks awesome. So now I probably will just skip around and do some different sections. But I'm not, I don't wanna do the same color next to itself. So if, I, if I'm skipping with the crayons or the colored pencils, I won't come and do the one right next door. I'm not gonna do the, the neighboring little row, the neighboring stripe. Oh, I like that texture. You know, a lot of, there, another thing you can do is if you have anything, um, if you're doing this outside, if you were during your drawing on the sidewalk, on concrete, you'd get some fun texture underneath there. All right, let me try some green. Let's see how that looks. And, and when you have that texture, you don't have to worry about coloring it all the way in completely solid. You can just kind of generally fill in that stripe. We'll come do, uh, let's see, I started that, it's gonna touch there, but that's okay, I can live with that. And I know that my, some of my regular kids that come to Art Tales are gonna have so much fun with this. They're gonna do such a cool job. So I hope people are, I know that we've been asking people to share their art projects after they're finished. I hope you guys are doing that because we would love to see what you're up to. We'd love to see your versions. And then come up here and start doing some of these. You know, it doesn't have to be all the same color. I could start with green and come in and add, make have it change into blue. You know, when you're the artist, you can do whatever you want. It's, you, you can't do it wrong, because you're the artist, it's your decision. I'll come in with some green next to that. Because you know, this has these really cool, kind of Japanese looking, kind of almost printmaking looking stripes, but in the real ocean, you just kind of see those colors all mixed together. You can see different colors of blue and green, but obviously it's not like a solid little row. If you are home with brothers and sisters, you know what else might be nice is someone might do the outline and let someone else do the coloring in part if they don't want to do that. But I think everybody should do it themselves. Do not ask mom or dad or grandma or whoever you're with to do it for you. You guys need to do it yourself. This is how you learn how to do this cool stuff. Look, I can do it. I can double fist it here. I have one in each hand. Almost, maybe not. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. I'm not gonna color the whole thing in, but I will show you, just if you have other things, pencil, come back in. Look how different that looks. It actually, you can't tell what's crayon and what's pencil, but the color is different. But you're still getting that texture. So this is this color. Here's this one. And see how I'm leaving white in there? You don't have to color it solid. I just want to get that color in and that, like I said, that fun texture from the table underneath. All right, you get the idea. I know you guys are going to do such a good job with this. You're gonna fill it all in and add things. If you get done and you look at it and you wanna come back and do some more details with the marker, that would be a good idea. Come in. You can kind of make just little curly shapes too, if you just want. Cause that looks like water. All right, good luck and we will see you all soon.